There we go. Periscope, what's up? Greg Howes, it is Monday morning. High energy, starting the, the new week. Let's go. Let's go. Miraculous Monday. Okay. Louisville, Kentucky. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're at the job. Good morning. Thank you for the hearts. Every time you tap the screen, you release a heart. Thank you so much. Lombard is here. Lombard, Illinois, Houston, Texas. High energy. Yeah, we got the copy going. All right. New Mexico. Where are you in New Mexico? Albuquerque, where are you? Laurel, Maryland. Okay. Awesome word yesterday. Thank you. Faithfully disturbing Monday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Got the first cup of coffee going. Hazel Crest, good morning. Got some hot tea in Hazelcrest, Flossmore, Toledo, Ohio. Good morning. Hobbs, New Mexico. Okay. In the southeast corner. All right. Brooklyn, New York. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Vessels of Power. Angel. Good morning. All right. A really cold train black water. <laughs> Uh, it's a little little nippy out there this morning. Sorry you have to stand on the train platform. Wow. Bed is cold out there. Do some do some calisthenics while you're out there. Keep yourself warmed up. Vincennes, Indiana, good morning. A marvelous Monday. We had a miraculous Monday, now it's a marvelous Monday. Alright, alright. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Somebody says, yes, 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 yes. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you on with me this morning. We need to move quick because I got to get over to our school to do devotions with our school students this morning. So let's get on it. Let's move on it. This is Thanksgiving week. This Thursday, of course, is our uh, American Thanksgiving holiday. And so happy Thanksgiving to all of you as we start this Thanksgiving week. I hope that you are uh, planning to do something really, really nice with your friends and your family this week, and it'll be a great blessing to you and to other people. Um, yesterday, we actually celebrated Thanksgiving at our house. Yesterday afternoon, we had some people over, some, some old friends over, and of course, our family was there. And we did that because tomorrow, my wife Karen is having uh, knee replacement surgery. And so she will be in the hospital on Thanksgiving. So we celebrated a little bit early this year. So I ask you to pray for my wife as she goes in for surgery tomorrow morning. That's Tuesday morning. And so because of that, I'm not sure uh, what my schedule is going to be here on Periscope. Um, I know we're going to the hospital early in the morning. So I doubt if I'll be on tomorrow unless I do something from the hospital. But uh, we'll see how all that works out as the next few days go by. So um, just keep watching for me, okay, and we'll see what happens. And uh, we appreciate your prayers for my wife if you will do that. Thank you. Uh, since this is Thanksgiving week, I just wanted to touch on being thankful for just a moment, if we could. Uh, this is something we need to be reminded of from time to time. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In everything, give thanks. Notice it didn't say for everything, but it did say in everything. So there are some things that we may not be too thankful for, but we can be thankful for the results of those things. Uh, I'm speaking, of course, of the negative things that happen in our lives uh, that affect us in a bad way, in a negative way. Uh, we can go through those things, and in the midst of them, we can be thankful. We can be thankful. So... Uh, I, I just think that I am here to inspire you, to educate you, to equip you, to encourage you. I'm here to serve you in some way. And so those of you that are going through a time of deep adversity, 
You may be going through a time of unexpected tragedy or possibly some kind of uncommon blow that has happened in your life. I want to encourage you that in the midst of all of that, you can still be thankful. You can be thankful to God in the middle of your circumstances. And so uh, today I want to encourage us to be thankful for all the positive things that have happened. You know, the, the high achievers in life uh, have one major thing in common, and that is that they know how to express gratitude. They know how to express gratitude. And so that becomes extremely important to us. That's everybody from a John Maxwell to a Tony Robbins, anybody that you want to think about. One of the major characteristics of their lives is that they are people that express gratitude. So I want to encourage us to be thankful for all of the positive things, for all of the good things that have happened in our lives, but also to assess how we can change our perspective toward the negative things or the hurtful or painful things that have happened in our lives so we can change that from a, a negative, destructive perspective to more of a positive, healthy perspective for our lives. So as we look back over what has happened this year, for example, as we look back over 2016, there are some things that we can celebrate we can be joyful, we can be happy about those positive good things that have happened in our lives. And, and then we can enter times of solitude where we are thinking and meditating and pondering what has taken place and pondering the will of God for our lives. Uh, we can, uh, in effect, close up some old business, some loose ends that have left hanging, uh, have been left hanging for 2016. We can begin to wrap those things up and close up the old business and prepare. Let's get prepared to start new and fresh when we hit January of 2017. So those are some things that we can do in, in this area of gratitude as we prepare to leave one year and move into a new year. If you will observe the good things that have happened in your life this year and give thanks to God for what has happened in your life this year, it's going to begin to set you up for your success in the next thing that God has for you. Your gratitude and the expression of your gratitude is going to not only help you evaluate what has been, but it's going to set you up and establish you for what will be. It's going to get you ready for the uh, success that God has in store for you as you move in to 2017. So uh, we're, we're looking at 2017. We're looking at this new thing that God is releasing into our lives as uh, considering that those things that we would think of as being impossible are simply those things that we have not tried yet. And if we will try it, maybe we'll find out that they are possible. We're going to discover that the walls that we are approaching, when we can see the wall coming, those walls are just gateways into growth and development for our lives. We're going to see that possibly our greatest struggle in life right now is going to be our greatest resource of strength moving forward. We're going to see that as we pursue a vision for improvement, for something better, that there will be others that try to stop us. There will be others that try to knock us down. There will be people who try to hinder that kind of attitude. But we're not going to let that stop us. We're not going to let that discourage us. But we're going to continue to move forward with strength and power into the improvement, into the better things that God has plan for our lives. And according to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 16, God likes it when we reach for something better. He likes it when we go after improvement in our lives. In fact, he says that he will not be ashamed to be called our God. He will stand with us, he will partner with us, and he will make sure that whatever that better thing is that we're going after, we will achieve it, we will be successful in it, and we will be able to enjoy the benefits of it. All right, so we're going to practice expressing gratitude, expressing gratitude. So I want to encourage you that maybe even now when we stop the broadcast today, that you would immediately get out a piece of paper and a pen or, or your phone or your iPad or whatever you have there and, and just jot down maybe two or three things that you are grateful for. 
Just jot down a couple of things that you are thankful for and then begin to practice that as you move through this week. Each day, begin to add to that list. This is what I am grateful for. This is something good that has happened in my life this year. This is a, a good relationship that has come into my life this year. These are the resources that have come into my life this year and begin to practice expressing gratitude and watch and see how that will begin to affect your attitude about everything that's going on in your life. And then you'll be able to change your perspective on the negative things from an unhealthy perspective to a healthy perspective. In all things, give thanks. All right, I'm thankful for you. I'm grateful for you. Thanks for being on Leaderscope with me this morning. I appreciate it. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for inviting people to come on. Again, my wife is having surgery uh, tomorrow morning, so I'm not quite sure how these scopes are going to work out for the next couple of days, but we'll see how it goes, okay? God bless you guys. I love you. Have a great, great day, and enjoy Thanksgiving week. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. High energy. Let's go.